How much does it help a different young defenseman when you, you know, get to this point in the season or just there's an opportunity to grab a bigger role and just feel comfortable more out there? Well, I think it's just, like you said, it's a, it's a great opportunity. Now you have, you know, really time to show what you can do. Um, and there's plenty of opportunity right now. So it's a great opportunity for, you know, for Roni and some of these other guys um, to grab that and show really what they can do and put themselves in a good spot for, for the future and for, for next season. What, I mean, you, you've played uh, PK and PP throughout your career. What does it take to be that well-rounded, especially at a, at a young age? Well, it takes commitment and understanding that, that you, you need to do it on both sides of the puck. Um, and I think that's something that really stands out with Roni. Uh, he's worked a lot on it, uh, and he's done great. So it's very encouraging to see you know, the steps he's taken this year. Uh, he's been sent down a couple of times, and every time he's been sent down, he's, he's come right back up and been even better. So it's very encouraging to see that the, the system seems to be working. How much do you emphasize communicating? Because, it, I mean, I've heard, you know, you talk a lot and and maybe some of the younger guys don't realize how much that is needed. I think it, it, it just helps. The more you talk out there, the, the better, you know, you can be as a unit out there. Uh, and I think that's one of the things that you try to, to preach every day, uh, you know, help each other out, talk to each other. Who wants the puck? Uh, where do you want to go with it? Not only yourself, but even you know, even if you can't get it, let your your partner know what to do with it, um, and talk to the goalies. So it, that's one area where, where we can all get better, and something we try to work on every day. What do you like from Moronic on the power play since he's been back up? Uh, pretty much everything. I think he's got good poise with the puck, makes the right decisions. Uh, he's really good at getting the shots through, which is harder harder than you think. Easier. It's it's harder than than. Just say I'm going to get it through, but it's harder than you think. So it, it's encouraging to see uh, how poised he is, how calm he is with the puck, uh, and he seems to be making the right plays. And I think that unit has been has been very good for us since since he came on top there. How disappointing though to lose Mike Green for you know another seven to ten days. Yeah, you know, he's uh, probably our best defenseman. And, uh, you know, a dynamic player, uh, skates the puck out of trouble. Uh, veteran guy, uh, brings a lot of calmness to the guys, uh, good in the room. It's a big piece of our team that, that we'll, we'll miss here in a bit. But at the same time, we've, we've gone through it uh, before the season. We're going to have to do it again. And again, anytime someone goes down, it's an opportunity for someone else to step up and, and get some more minutes and, and show what they can do. Specifically about the Avalanche, at that top line, you know, what is the, the main thing you have to do against them? Flash was saying, you know, put them on defense, basically. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's one huge area. If, if we play offense and we play in their zone, hopefully, you know, we spend enough time there that once they do get the puck, they're too tired to go on offense. That's probably the, the best way to do it. But once they do get the puck, we have to try to eliminate as much space. Uh, as possible, so we we need to be there before the puck gets to it.